Many cancer patients suffer debilitating side effects from the chemotherapy used to treat their illnesses. But in the future, it may be possible to treat some cancers using a much lower dose of chemo. Researchers at UNC are looking at new ways to deliver cancer drugs. And that research is what's next. You have a great fear. Tama Hargraves knew she had a fight ahead of her when she was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2006. I found a little bump in my neck, which was biopsied, and it turned out to be stage 3B lung cancer. After a clinical trial involving intense chemotherapy and radiation and another round of treatment when the cancer returned, Tama is now a cancer survivor. But many patients with similar diagnoses aren't so fortunate. Far and away, lung cancer is the top cancer killer in the U.S. and the world. Many patients suffer severe side effects from chemotherapy. Sometimes we have to stop therapy even when it's working, which is really frustrating. That's just because the patients can't handle the therapy. But in the future, doctors may be able to fight lung and other cancers using a much lower dose of chemo. Much less drug. It's about 50 times less drug than in the uh, normal uh, formulations. Elena Batrakova works at the Eshelman School of Pharmacy at UNC. She's researching a new way to deliver chemotherapy using particles produced by white blood cells. The particles, called exosomes, can deliver the chemo directly to the cancer cells. Exosomes feel where they need to go. They found only cancer cells. They don't target the healthy, normal tissues. Making the drugs less toxic to patients. So there would theoretically be fewer side effects? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right now, the research is being tested on animals, but doctors hope it will be tested in people within the next several years. This would be a huge breakthrough, I think, not only for lung cancer patients, but also other types of cancer. And down the road, those facing a difficult diagnosis may have more reasons to be hopeful. We've got to keep that research going because that's going to make a huge difference for lung cancer survivors. This research is still in the very early stages. Researchers say how quickly it will get to human trials depends on funding.